Good evening, everyone, and welcome to another edition of the Android News Byte. Today, I wanted to highlight the announcement that Google made yesterday talking about the new Canary release channel for Android. This build is currently available for the entire Pixel 6 series, the Pixel 7 series, Pixel 8 series, and the entire Pixel 9 series. For those who own a Pixel tablet or the original Pixel Fold, then you can install this experimental version of Android on your device as well. Google enjoys having multiple software channels for its products. We'll use Chrome as an example here, since it's been set up this way for many years now. If you want your Chrome browser to be the most secure, stable software for your web browsing needs, then you'll install Chrome from the stable release channel, which for many is simply referred to as Chrome or Chrome Stable. But if you're willing to put up with some rough edges, like the possibility of a small bug here or there, or the chance of your browser using more resources due to less optimized code, then you can install Chrome from the beta release channel. There is also a release channel after this called Dev, and this is where engineers will make sure that the new features work well with Chrome's current APIs. It's a great way of getting new features tested with other new features that are actively being worked on. And lastly, if you want to be on the bleeding edge of Google's development for its Chrome web browser, then you can install it from the Canary release channel. This is updated around twice per day with only automated tests to make sure that it builds properly. But you should be prepared for features to appear and disappear at seemingly random times as the team is actively working on them. See, when Google first begins working on a new feature, and again, we're gonna use Chrome as the example, then it will first appear in the Canary build. This gives the company's engineers time to test it internally, profile how it performs when it's integrated with the rest of the browser, and then search for any other bugs that may have appeared. When they find this new feature has reached a certain milestone, like when there aren't any more critical bugs or when it reaches a certain performance threshold, then the team will move that new feature over to the dev release channel. These builds can still have bugs present, but they shouldn't prevent you from using the browser as you would expect. And you're not gonna see features added and removed at random. Then when the company decides which in development features are ready for the prime time, those get added to the beta version of Chrome. And from here, they're given a much wider test audience while the engineers work hard to optimize the performance and squash any remaining bugs that are needed. Until now, we've had the stable build of Android and the beta release. Before a new update gets pushed through the beta stages, we also see Google release a developer preview of that update. And now the company has announced a Canary update branch. And with the Mountain View tech giant switching to rolling out two new major updates to Android each year, I suspect features found in the Canary branch will be officially launched, not in the next version of Android, but the one after that. So, we just got Android 15 as our latest stable release, and we know Android 16 is currently making its way through the beta program. So it's possible that some of the things that we currently see in the Canary build of Android right now, they will be included in the stable version of Android 17. So far, 
people have found a new lock screen shortcut for Pixel's Now Playing feature. There's a new feature that lets you stop HDR photos from cranking up the brightness while you're viewing them in a dark environment. There's a new screensaver feature for phones with Qi 2 wireless charging. And they've made some improvements to the split screen feature, finally allowing you to split the apps to a 90 to 10 ratio or a 10 to 90 ratio. The Canary build of Android does have some similarities to how the beta program works right now, meaning switching away from the Canary build and going back to the stable version will require a factory data reset. And the same is said if you want to go from the Canary build to the beta branch. But with that said, there are some big differences between the two programs as well. So you cannot opt into the Canary program and receive over the air updates like you can with the beta program. In this situation, it acts more like the developer preview builds since they have to be installed manually. However, once you do have that Canary build installed, you will get future over the air updates like you normally would, but only specifically for the Canary branch. At this time, we have not heard talk about being able to update from the Canary to the beta and then from the beta to the stable. So don't expect that to be a possibility right now. If this is anything like Chrome's Canary channel, then we are to expect to see features suddenly appear in the Canary branch, and these features can be removed just as easily as well. I honestly doubt Google will want to go with two over-the-air updates per day, like they're doing with Chrome uh, Canary, but I do suspect that the updates will happen quite often and for features to appear and disappear fairly frequently. You can also expect the Canary build to be full of bugs, even some groundbreaking ones like not being able to place a call or not being able to call emergency services, some major things like that. I really enjoy seeing the direction Google is going in when it comes to these quick updates. I have a feeling that this was only possible thanks to the changes they've done with how Android is being developed, and that is a bit of a bummer since that is going to be less public than before. But with two major versions being released each year, it seems as if there's going to be a lot of activity when it comes to Android features that are actively in development. And I look forward to showcasing all of that with you here on the channel. So be sure that you're subscribed and that you also click on the notification bell as well. I hope you all have a great weekend coming up. Just remember to stay safe and be nice to each other.